Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Akiv and in this video, I'm going to show how you can automatically create an event in Google Calendar as and when you create a deal in Active Campaign application. So guys, Active Campaign is a sales and marketing tool and Google Calendar is a scary scheduling and calendar application by Google. So here we are going to integrate both of these two applications with the help of an automation. So now you guys are wondering why we are integrating these two things because guys in active campaigns, you can create pipelines and deals, which is a part of lead nurturing process. So if so, as in when you create a deal, the first step after that you want to do is that you want to interact with the person or the customer, which is included in the deal. Okay. So for that, you are scared you want to schedule the meetings and the interactions on google calendar so if you are if you go manually uh, creating a deal and then creating an event in google calendar manually is very problematic and time consuming process so here we are going to automate this let me show you how so the flow of this automation is going to look like this guys here as and when you create a deal in active campaign in any pipeline an event will be created automatically for that same deal and will be reflected here on Google Calendar automatically. So you need not to manually see which deal you are creating and what are the details and you do not have to manually create an event. It is going to happen automatically and it will surely help you in saving your time and manual efforts. Right. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So any person can so set up this automation in just few steps very easily. So now let me show you how you can do this. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pabli Connect account and for and you have to reach the dashboard here. Okay. So guys to reach the dashboard you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and it will provide you 100 free automation tasks for every new month okay so guys here you have to start working by creating a workflow of automation so to create a workflow you just have to click here on this create workflow button and here you can give any suitable name to your workflow so let me fill the name here so here I've given the name to this workflow as active campaigns in Google Calendar automation. Now I can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created like this. Okay. And here you can see these two things the trigger and the action. So guys, uh, this automation functions on these two things. And these are the two steps, uh, uh, which is the basic building blocks of this automation. So here the trigger is that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be a creation of a new deal in active campaigns and the response towards that uh, trigger would be to uh, create an event in Google Calendar for that deal. Okay. So first of all, you have to click here and from this choose app field in the trigger, you have to choose the trigger application, which is active campaigns in our case. So search for active campaign, select it. Okay. And the trigger event would be new deal. Okay. So it will trigger this workflow when a new deal is created. Okay. Now you can click here on this connect button. And from here you have to click on add new connection option. And here it will ask for this API key and the URL to make this connection with active campaigns. So guys, you can follow these instructions written here to find these two things. Let me show you how you can find this. All right, so I'm going back to my account of active campaigns. So this is my account and here you will find the settings option in the draw uh, in this panel on the left hand side, click on settings and under the settings panel, you will find this developer option, click on developer. And here you can see we have this key. This is the API key we need. So just copy this key and paste this key here in this API key field like this. And for the URL, you can see the URL as well. This is the URL that I'm talking about. Just copy this URL, paste it here in this URL field. Okay. And you have to remove this HTTP leading HTTP and double slash remove this. Okay. So you have to put uh, the uh, URL like this. You can see the example, right? Now you can click on save and you will be connected with active campaigns like this. Okay. So here it is asking to provide a name to the web hook. So, uh, like we can provide the name as to Google calendar. 
okay right now click on save and send test request and here you can see it started showing this waiting for the response so this means now you have to perform a test submission or you have to create a test or demo deal inside the inside the pipeline you have in active campaigns and we are going to capture the data of that deal here in Pavli Connect okay and with the help of that data we are going to move forward right so I'm going to the deal section and sorry not here from here okay these are the deal section and this is a pipeline we just have only three steps in this pipeline you can add up more you can customize this according to yourself so the first stage is to contact second stage is in contact and the third is the follow-up so I'm going to create a deal here in this stage to contact stage so I'm clicking on add a deal the deal's title is Wisdom Hub Studio Deal, let's say, okay. The deal's value is, uh, let's say, $110. This is the pipeline, this is the stage, this is the deal's owner. So here you have to provide the deal's closure date, so that the, uh, so let the closure date be any date that you want. You can enter the deal's description. New deal for the customer. Okay, for the new project. So I'm just uh, writing this just to show you the example. You can add the descriptions according to yourself. And here you can enter the contact details of any person uh, by which you want to uh, have the conversation. Okay, so I'm entering the uh, entering the contact details as this. I'm entering an email ID. Okay, so uh, you can create a contact if you have already cre uh, a contact created. You can use that contact or you can create a contact here. Now you can provide the contact's name as Ashirai, let's say. You can provide the whole details of this person. Okay, right. Now I am going to click on add a deal. And you can see the deal is saved here for this person in this stage. Okay. Now let's check in public and if we got the date of this deal. And here you can see in this response received section, we got the deal uh, deals data as this, the contact email, the person's uh, contact details and the deals name, the creation date and all the things. Okay. Now for this deal, I want to create an event here in my Google calendar uh, because this person is here in this two contact stage this means now you have to uh, contact this person who who is added here in this deal so i want to schedule this event here in google calendar okay for that to happen to create a event here you need to have the start date and time of the event and the closure date and time of the event as well okay and let's say i want to uh, do this meeting with this person one day after the deal is created okay just for the example so uh, I want to have the start date and time one day after the deal creation for that to get that date and the time I'm going to use a feature by Pavli in this action step. So click here on this action step and I'm going to use date time formatter. This is date time formatter. Okay. And in the action event I'm going to choose modify current date. Okay. So it will modify the day. Uh, so I'm using this modify current date because I'm going to modify the date uh, at which the deal is created and I'm going to add one day to that date and we'll uh, capture that date here. Okay, let me show you. Just click on connect here. And now it is asking dates format. So the date format you need to uh, select uh, is this YYMMDD and a T in between and hours, minutes and seconds because we also want a time with the date as well. Okay. Now you have to select your time zone. My time zone is Asia Kolkata and I'm performing an add operation. I'm adding one day. So select the unit as days and here in the value just put one. Okay. And click on save and send test request and you will get, get this date and time like this in this format. So we have added one day to the date at which this deal is created okay so that will act as the start time of the event okay right now uh, click here on this plus icon and now we are going to fetch out the closure date and time 
let's say you want to create an event of uh, one hour for this person okay so for that select date time formatter again from the section step and here in this section event I'm going to select this add sub add slash subscribe subtract time okay then click on connect and here it is asking enter the date so I want to add uh, one hour to this date and time okay so I'm going to map this label this date time label here so to map this label just click here and you will find the previous two steps and from the second step map this date time label and in the expressions you have if you want to uh, add one hour to this time you need to put the expressions as this in this format plus just copy this paste it here the format first okay and then in place of eight I want to put one plus one hours okay and in which for format you want to have the date converted so I'm going to select the same format which was this okay right with a T in between okay and in the from format you have to select this only okay right now click on save and send test request and you can see we got this date and time so here you can notice previously we have this date 29.32022 16 hours 48 minutes 34 seconds and here you can see that date is same 29.32022 but the time is 17 hours and 48 minutes now okay so we have added one hour more to this date and time and this will act as the and date and time of the event now finally click here on this plus icon and let's create an event in google calendar so from this action step choose here google calendar okay and the action event select here create an event option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection then click on connect with google calendar and from this window select the google account by which you are accessing that application okay then you have to provide some additional accesses just click on continue here and you will be connected with google calendar in just a few moments like this okay now it is asking to choose your calendar so my calendar is this one with my name only so i'm going to choose this here okay now i have to provide the title uh, to this uh, event that you are creating so i'm going to map the details of the title from this first tab where, from uh, in which we got the details of the deal okay so uh, i'm going to map this label let me show you so i'm going to use the deal title label here so i'm going to uh, add an event uh, on uh, by this name okay so just come back to the google calendar step and click on title and you will find this first step in the drop down and from here only click here and find the deal title and map the name okay so if you want to add the description you can add a short description for this uh, event or meeting okay uh, right now i'm leaving this blank you can enter according to you you can enter the location if you are uh, meeting in person uh, so you can enter the location of that event also and here you can see it is asking start date and end date time so for the start date time just click here and i'm going to use this second step in which i have added uh, plus one day to the creation uh, to the date on which we have created a deal okay so from the second step i'm going to map this date time uh, sorry date time label this one okay and for the end date time i'm going to use this third step where we have added one more hour to this date and time okay right so this would be the end date time now it is asking for the time zone so my time zone is kolkata asia kolkata you can select yours you can uh, select the visibility of this event it's a private or public event you can select it if you want to put the guest okay we we do have a guest and we got the details of the guest here in this first tab as you can see we have added a person in the deal whose data we have received here so i'm going to map this contact email here in this tab because this person is included in the deal and we are doing a meeting with this person on, only so just use the first step and map the contact email so he is going to receive an invitation for the event as well okay for the event recurrence rule okay so this if this is a one time event or you are going to uh, create a recurring event for that uh, uh, 
recurring event with this person for this deal you can use this recurrence rule here so if it is a one time e event you can use this rule written here okay so this is a one time uh, meeting only so i'm going to uh, copy this rule and paste it here like this okay right so now you can check your connection with google calendar by clicking on save and send test request and a new event will be reflected here in this calendar let me show you so i have clicked on save and send test request and this is the response we have received let me show you in my calendar if we got the uh, new event uh, and you can see a new event is created here you can see wisdom hub studio is the name of the event and here you can see we have this one guest awaiting here and the date is this and the time is this so you can see it is one hour meeting on 29th of march so these are the same details we have mapped here you can see 29th of march this was the date and this was the time and that was exactly reflected here so this is how it is going to work in real time and we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once guys after that you don't have to do anything manually here after that as and when you create a new deal here the same event for the deal is going to be reflected in your calendar like this let me show you a real time example i'm going to create another deal here let's say the name of this deal is uh, magnet brains deal let's say and uh, the amount is thousand uh, dollars okay right the closure date is this uh, description I'm just putting new deal here and then the contact I'm going to add the person I have already have in my contact list this is the person okay add it and I'm going to add a deal and a deal is created now let me show you directly in my google calendar if this deal is created or if the event for this deal is created or not so here you can see a new deal with this name is created here okay right so this is how it is going to work in real time guys and we are done setting up this automation and let me give you a quick recap what i've done here so first of all in the trigger i connected new ca active campaigns and with the help of uh, okay after that i connected active campaigns and fast the details of a demo deal here after that i applied date time formatter to get the start date and time for the deal and i have added a plus one day to the date on which we have created a deal and we got this after that i modified it further and i added plus one hour to this date and time to get the closure date and time and date and time after that I connected Google Calendar and map the details accordingly to create an event in Google Calendar automatically. Okay. And guys, the good part is you can use this same workflow that I've just created because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start running this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.